What's up, guys? Welcome back to the MLG Studios here in New York City. You're watching the World Championship Series Challenger League. We're in a tie match between Tasia and Hart. Going into game three, both players are ready. I'm in the start game, Nick. I'm not waiting for you to confirm or deny whether you want that to happen. Don't need to wait for me, man. I'm sure you want it to happen. Of course I want it to happen. Is TVT still your favorite matchup in Hearthstone? I don't know. Okay. I, That's I, still, a fair I still really enjoy it, but honestly, I've been actually enjoying PvP and PvZ a lot too lately. Ah. I feel like PvZ, there's so many options for both races. I know. It's insane. Like, there's literally like four radically different unit combinations you can see um, from, from either side. So there's like 16 possible weird combinations, and in, in each one, the tactics can be different. Uh, so it, it's not like I don't like TVT as much as I used to. It's just that I like all the matches so much now. And, and, uh, in Heart of the Storm. Storm yes. Yeah, it uh, changes seemingly every single day. Guys, welcome to game number three on the map of Neo Planet S. I had the pleasure of introducing your two players, starting with, in the top right-hand location, the Red Terran player from Team Axiom, one win away from advancing to the next round of the Challenger League bracket stage of this WCS America. He is Heart. and his opponent in the bottom left-hand location. The Blue Terran player representing Team Liquid, hailing from Korea and considered one of the best to ever play StarCraft II. He is Tasia. So, Neo Planet S, we've seen some pretty crazy TVTs on. A, a couple things about this map. There's a two alternate routes around the, the central circle area. Oh, yes. And if each player takes a different route, of course, it can end up into a, a, a base race of significant concern. Another thing that's important about this map is uh, there's some key positions you can kind of sneak into where you can control. Uh, like, basically, you can, if you go around, let's say, the top side, uh, and you're the red player, hard in this case, right? you can get in, in the spot if your opponent doesn't see you coming. You can just siege up right in front of their natural and cut off their basically natural to third locations their much easier. Their supply line, yes. essentially. Their production line. It's a lot easier to sneakily set up contains here. Just because the two routes, your opponent has to try to, you know, yep. have good scouting on both routes, and that's very important. Widow Mines, Marines, SCVs, and Spotters, if you don't have that scouting, your opponent can get a perfect position, uh, and then you're, you're stuck, similar to what happened to Heart last game, yeah. where you have to pull the SCVs and break a tank line, and I mean, that's, that's never fun, because you don't want to have to lose all your SCVs. They, no. They're very helpful in, in gathering minerals. Yeah, uh, they're kind of essential to the advancement of your colony when you're playing a StarCraft II game. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was interesting about last game. It seemed like both players were very prepared as far as that was concerned. They had Marines everywhere, one Marine standing here, one Marine, one Marine standing there. Sure, they would probably die, but they were able to see, you know, essential pieces of information. That's, of course, going to be exponentially important here on Neo Planet S. As you said, the two different pathways can create those very wonky games, of course. If you're wanting an example, I got your back. The Muslim versus Maker. I think it was game two between those two gentlemen uh, from yesterday is on our on our YouTube channel. Definitely go check that out because that was uh, a base trade that was very entertaining, very fun to watch. And uh, just an example of what can happen on this map. Both players going factory and second gas before command center. Hart going for a reactor on his barracks where uh, Tasia didn't get the add-on quite as fast. So he's actually using the factory to build the add-on. So what that means is uh, Hart will basically have greater production earlier on because his factory can can react route units whereas Tejas factory is being used to build add-ons ah. and he has a higher marine count right now because of course barracks never stop producing uh you know what's better the, the higher factory unit count or the higher marine count it kind of it depends on how you use your units so it's interesting asymmetry of of players who look like they're doing almost the same build um and they're starting to diverge in, in subtle ways like that and then we also see you know, Hart with the star put on its own, probably just going to get a, a medevac for a drop, and then Tasia with the star port that's going to go on to the tech lab to most likely get Banshees. Another interesting feature about Neo Planet S is that it, it is a smaller type map, so it's good, it's, it doesn't take as long to get your opponent's side of the map. So, And it's also a two-player map, so you, you know your opponent is. So, you know, it's much more likely to see players really invest a lot into one base to make sure that they're safe, not only from their opponent's type plays, but so they can have that ability to apply aggression because they know exactly where their opponent is. And if their opponent is, is greedy at all, they can definitely take advantage. Hellions poking up the front. Marines denying the entry. 
saying, get out of here, Hellions. I don't care that you're, you get to drive cars, but I have machine guns and I have high gun vision. Medivac on the way from Hart, and instead of going straight for the Viking, he's going Tech Lab on the starport. Ah. This could mean he could get a delayed cloak Banshee. Look at those scan timings. It, oh, yeah. Great scan timings. It could also mean he'd go straight for Raven. So Hart, help spot the Hart didn't see the add-on from Tasia. No, he didn't. Um, and he still hasn't seen that Banshee yet. I don't... No, he did not see the Banshee with the Medivac. Is Tasia going to be ready to defend the Hellion drop? Marines are all at the front, and Tasia has not seen the Medivac play. It's coming to the main right now. Oh, uh, he doesn't know yet. Tasia finally reacting with those Marines. The Medivac stuttering a little bit. The four Hellions being dropped down. Are they going to go straight for that Medivac? going to start kiting away from those Marines for now, and he's just going to pick up and back out of there before losing too much. Meanwhile, we have a Banshee cloaking, trying to get some damage done in a hard space, taking down Marine after Marine, and no scans are available here for Hearts, taking completely off guard by this. He does have a Raven that's about to finish, but once that finishes, he needs stuff that shoots up, which he doesn't have. Two Marines about to pop, but this Banshee can still get a lot of damage done. <laughs> the Raven's like, I see you, Banshee. I see you, but I can't do much. Oh, auto turret goes down. One way to do um, it. And so much damage being done by Teja, though. And, and Hearts, of course, uh, Helling dropped it. Basically nothing. I mean, it was totally pushed away by the, you know, the yeah. Marines of, of Teja. Banshee's still getting more kills. 19. Oh, I mean, this 20. is, I think it's the game. That's a Commander because, Banshee. Well, Hart can try to pull something clever out. Um, oh, there's uh, another, another actually, one. There's a second Banshee coming in here. Gosh. Well, there is he, a well, he does have three Hellions. Well, Hellions don't really. He <laughs> <laughs> got three Hellions, that's true. So, if you're an SCV in this situation, I don't even know what you do. Uh, you jump in the Medivac. Jump in the Medivac. Oh, see, this is the advantage of only having eight SCVs. They can all fit in your medevac. Exactly. So yes, he lost all of his SCVs, but eight. But those eight, they've got a little, little nice little medevac they can all hang out in. Um, Where they're not mining. Yeah, that, that's true. But you know, if you're an SCV, you'd rather stay alive. What if you can mine from inside a medevac? That'd be tricky. You know it'd be tricky. Hmm. So there's a banshee, right? Yeah. And you drop the SCV and you mine a bit, but then as the banshee shots in midair, you pick it up again, then drop it again, and you keep. <laughs> I, I I think the mining time would reset every time you did that. But it'd be pretty funny if you could actually. That the crazy <laughs> micro situations that could happen in StarCraft 2. Uh, yes, indeed. But Tasia definitely has a significant advantage here. I'm scared to look at workers killed. It's 22, 22 to one in favor of Tasia. And yeah. Art is just going to de GG and Tasia takes the 2-1 after falling in game number one. Coming back and saying, you know what? I've got my stretches going. Let's do this. But uh, Tasia makes it happen. He does. It's done. Yeah. Uh, play. Great play in, in basically the second and third game. Heads yes. up uh, deflecting deflecting the Doom drops and then uh, landing one of his own. But what's cool in that, in that Daybreak game is he landed it uh, in between the second and third where he knew it couldn't get caught and he just set up a contain. Um, right. And Mahar tried to break it aside. In, in the third game, I mean, the Banshee control is great. Just kill all the Marines. Yeah. And then kill, kill all, all the workers. And then what can your opponent do from there? Not much. Um, of course, Hart, you know, sp spent the, the early part of that game investing a lot in the Hellions, which is great, but they didn't do a lot of damage. Yeah. If, and they can't they can't be used to defend. I mean, if, if he was able to get, like, 20, 30 SCV because of the Hellions, it would have been yeah. uh, an Yeah, completely game, different story. Much, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, I guess if Hellions could shoot out from the window of the, of the Medivac and you... Pilot oh, you the fly to next, next to, to the, the banshee, banshee and then try to. It's yeah. not possible in StarCraft 2, but that could have been an option <laughs> for Hart. But we'll have to talk to Dave Kim about that. But Hart is going to be knocked down to the the group stage of the Challenger League, so he's not out of WCS America just yet. Look out for him in the group stages. Tasia going to move on to the next round of the bracket. Coming up next, guys, it's going to be Drunken Boy versus State. You don't want to miss it. This is WCS America. Don't go anywhere.